Hello again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to save and load models. So, for example, um, we can create a model, pass it a training data set, train it and build it, and then we can save it to a file on our system or to a stream in general, and then maybe, maybe uh, use it elsewhere on another computer or a mobile device or a laptop or anything like that. Now, uh, one class I'd like you to be familiar with is a class called Serialization Helper. It, uh, this class is in package weka.co. So if you go to weka.co and you go to Serialization Helper, you can read it's a helper class for determining da 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 da. One can also serialize and deserialize objects to and from, and M is missing there, from files or streams. So you can do that. For files and for files specifically, or for even uh, streams, if you want, two extremely interesting methods: read and write. The write is the one we use to save our model, so it serializes the given object to the specified file. Uh, you can do that even to save it to a stream, as we mentioned before. And the read it deserializes the given file and returns the object from it. So. Basically, uh, the classifier, classifier class in Weka has built-in support for uh, serialization. Now, let's have a look at the code. I'm going to build a regression model. Uh, sometimes we use too much classification, but the, the same thing here exactly you can use it for classification. So this is from the last video. Load the training set, the QDB data training set, set the class index, and then build the SMO regression model as we learned before build classifier we just print out the model and then what we do here is we call the write method so we say weka.co.serialization helper.write and then we give it the full path to the model that we want to save I'm here I'm just uh, saving it in the current directory but you need you, you can specify a different path of course my smo model dot model and then comma the actual uh, object the actual um, a classifier if you see the write method here we pass it the actual object this one is for a, a stream in general and this one we just give it the string the file name so we save it to the local disk yep so that's how we save it the file execute then it creates the model it prints it out as I do here print out model and then it just saves it yeah now imagine that this model now uh, is somewhere else so we don't have the training data let's comment this out and we only have the actual model by the way this is a binary file so it's not a text file that we can read then this is the code for loading the model now the opposite process so to load the model what we do here is uh, we need to have class instance I don't know why I've uh, moved it um, SMO2 there so what we do here is we use weka.co.serializationhelper.read to and give it the full path to the model and it will read it. Now, because we know what the model is, we need to typecast it, yeah? So we need to typecast it to the uh, uh, class we use to generate that model. So this is what I'm doing here, as you can see. Please pay attention to this. After that, we can do the same thing we, as we did last time. We can load our test data set, maybe. What I'm doing here is load the test data set set the class index and get the actual value for the first instance, instance number zero, and then uh, get the instance object now for the first instance, and then classify it using this model. So I, remember, I name it here, I named it here SMO2. So what I can say here is SMO2.classify instance. Notice now this is the model we're loading from the saved model. It's not something we build now. Uh, we just load it and then use it classify instance we use it normally as if we have just created it and as if uh, as we have been doing before let me run this and as you can see it gives me the actual value for the first instance and the predicted value as we have seen before so this is how you save a model this is how you load it always pay attention that we need to specify the full path that we can save and read from uh, files as well as streams in general and always remember to do the typecasting to get things working correctly thank you very much for watching i hope you're enjoying these videos 
and remember you will find the link to the source code underneath this video see you next time